and welcome to Neighborhood Nature. My name is Lisa and I'm a librarian at St. Albert Public Library and we have joining us today Hannah who is a U of A student in animal biology. And today we're going to be looking at nature and specifically the things that they eat, how they behave, and the sounds that they make. A couple of weeks ago in Neighborhood Nature we showed you a beaver and we went to the same creek this past weekend but we didn't see the beaver but we did see evidences of this beaver and it seems to be a very ambitious beaver because it was choosing trees that were very large. We also saw a pair of mallards again, and generally mallards feed by tipping upside down, but you can see the female appears to be just nibbling at things under the water surface. Since it was so rainy, there is a puddle in this area, but normally it would be dry. Ducks usually find their food in water, but other birds find it on land, like this chickadee. In this case, the seed is in a rather unusual spot. Chipmunks eat seeds too, but you probably won't be able to get one to eat out of your hand. Like the chipmunk we saw in previous weeks, this one is feeding on the ground. It seems to be in a hurry. There are no shrubs in this area, and so it is exposed to predators. It might be going as fast as possible so it can run back under cover. Although we usually see chipmunks on the ground, they can sometimes climb up into the trees to eat berries. And this one seems to be very hungry, it's really packing them away. We usually see chipmunks eating seeds, but berry eating behavior is not uncommon. Squirrels eating crackers, on the other hand, is less common. Let's hope it's unsalted. The squirrel was on a trail with lots of people, so he may have picked up the cracker from someone who dropped it. You may have noticed that the birds in your neighborhood have started to sing a lot, and the creek is full of bird song right now. Birds often use song to defend their territory, so if a male bird is singing, it often means for other males to keep out, and for females to come find them. Like the yellow brumped warbler we saw in a previous episode of Neighborhood Nature, a lot of these birds that you're hearing are warblers. This is a yellow warbler. It is a male, and it is singing to defend its territory. If you'd like to find a yellow warbler, look for it near deciduous trees and near a river, and also listen for it. Other birds have a less musical sound, like this crow that we found in our neighborhood. It was making so much noise that we wondered if there is a hawk or an owl nearby. Hawks and owls sometimes eat crow chicks, and crows know it. Sometimes crows will band together to drive hawks away, or sometimes a single crow will chase a hawk, like this one here chasing a red-tailed hawk. We saw this chase in our yard, but you can also see nature by looking around on the ground. We saw this weevil on one of our strawberry plants. Weevils are beetles that often have extended faces and jointed antennae. And will they eat my strawberries? Some kinds of weevils do suck plant juices, but for the moment this one seems more interested in nectar. Here's another bug that we found in our garden. It looks quite a bit different than the weevil. It looks a little bit scary. But it's actually not. I'm only wearing gloves because I was gardening, and not because it will bite or sting me. This is a crane fly. People often mistake these for giant mosquitoes, but they're not. Crane flies are kind of fly like a house fly. You can tell because the second pair of wings is reduced to tiny little knobs called haltiers. These are characteristic of flies, and they help them maintain their balance. Some bugs are probably best left alone, like this bee. Note that I didn't actually pick it up. I just let it crawl onto my gloved hand. It was vibrating its wings very quickly, so they appear blurry in this photo. It was trying to warm up because it was cold, and once it was warm enough, it flew away. This is not my favorite animal. In fact, if I see it, I would run the other way. It's difficult to see in this photo, but this is actually a garter snake. You can just barely make out those two lines. Garter snakes are not poisonous, and they're very shy, so you don't have to be afraid of them. Snakes are hard to spot, but other nature, like these pigeons, are very easy to find. Pigeons have a lot of variation in plumage color. Most pigeons look like the two birds on the right, but what about the bird on the left? This is a relatively uncommon red morph bird, which also has white wing tips. Pigeons can also have black checker spots, like these two birds. Or like the bird here on the left, which also has white wing tips. Male pigeons perform a dance display by puffing out their throats, bowing and spinning in a circle to interest the females. But these two females don't look that interested. 
Better luck next time. Besides being checkered or red, pigeons can also be white or have a mix of white and black. The next time you see a flock of pigeons, take a closer look. You might see some interesting colors. Thank you for watching Neighborhood Nature, and we look forward to seeing you next week.